holy month of Ramadan, the first 10 days are the days of rahmah and mercy. Alhamdulillah from the teaching of awliyaullah that Allah's greatest mercy is Sayyidina Muhammad So you put one and one together and understand that Allah grant the souls and audience and proximity with Sayyidina Muhammad And through the siyam of Ramadan to achieve these great lights and great blessings. And always a quick reminder that in these first 10 days of rahmah that while people are fixated about the time of imsaq and how straight your back should be and how long the taraweeh should be. This is all nice but it's a big distraction from your reality that alhamdulillah give or take a half hour before Salat al-Fajr and you should be okay. And when you worry too much about points that you believe to be significant, you miss the greater picture. And that becomes the difficulty upon the servant. Alhamdulillah from Ahl Haqqaiq and the people of realities they teach us that do your best. Qulun a'malun bin niyat. Allah is Ghafoor Raheem and the tremendous reality of Ramadan is not if you're two minutes off and two degrees short and your back is not at a complete 45 degree angle, that's not it. But it's whether in the state of fasting that you have compassion and mercy within your heart. In a state of fasting are you gossiping and backbiting and breaking every rule of Allah and entering into bad actions, bad energies. You threw the Ramadan away. So why worry about the imsaqis timing is not correct. The shaitan has us worried about things that are, you cannot say not important but are not the goal. And the, the things that are truly important, he makes us to be forgetful. And that's the difficulty but alhamdulillah by keeping the company of those whom are rightly guided, they are not forgetful. Their heart is open, their eyes are open and they are being guided. They don't miss the prize. The prize of Ramadan is Allah wants to grant you from these realities from good character. By keeping the way of good character, not backbiting, not being angry, not cheating, not stealing, by having good characteristics then Allah can complete His ni'mah complete his favors upon that servant. That is the dress, that is the blessing and with those good characters the soul finds its proximity and nearness with Sayyidina Muhammad Not, not that you're off by five minutes uh, before you start your, your fasting. These are things that you understood it, get over it, it's finished. But the main, the main reality is that Allah wants good character. Means if you're in a state of fasting and you don't make your prayers on time and you don't have good character and you're angry, you're yow yelling, shouting, stealing, cheating in interacting in incorrect fashions with people who believe or disbelieve. It makes no difference for Allah His servants. What's the purpose then of the fasting? Everything becomes negated and the fast becomes something that didn't achieve what Allah meant for it to achieve. Knowledge of awliyaullah and their realities and their teachings is that 
every month is a hijab and that this ship is moving in the oceans of Marifa from their understandings where they move through Baba Tawba and there's Baba Tawba and Medina to Munawara to enter into the presence of Prophet That through Baba Tawba and through the realities of nine and the Sultanate of the number nine they're moving. In the ninth month they're entering now a tremendous ocean of power. And the nine times the nine opens the realities of eighty-one. And your left hand is stamped with eighty-one. It's your upside down triangle with a sma line on it is eighty-one. Left hand eighty-one, right hand eighteen. Perfect symmetry of your being. Your left hand is there to remind you that the eighty-first name from Dalai al-Khirat of Allah al-Muntaqeen, the one who avenges. Every name of Allah has to have a dress from Prophet is the key, a miftah rahmah is the key of all mercy that when Prophet named, open Sifatullah, Ismullah Azzawajal. Means that for that muntaqeem to open, it opens to the name of Dhul Fadl, the source of every grace. Then with tafakkur and contemplation they begin to teach that when Allah wants to grant us this dress and this honour that muntaqeem because people say, why such a powerful name? Because it's so greatly needed. Awliya Allah are pleading to Prophet pleading to all the awliya above them. That, Ya Rabbi from Alastu bi Rabbikum wa qalu bala, what we accepted and entered into this dominion, you put us against a fierce opponent. Against shayateen that is destroying everything that we thought we were going to achieve in this dunya. He has the benefit of, of living an eternal life, he knows all the tricks. We come in in a short period of time and by the time you learn the tricks, your game already over. So it means that he's destroying our reality, destroying all the maqams and stations that Allah had intended for the servant. So by Ramadan and the realities of Ramadan is you're entering into the nine and the oceans of power. That zikr that Allah is making upon twelve hijabs, these are twelve hijabs and lights that Allah is eternally making a zikr upon the reality of Prophet There's no time. So it means Allah is infinitely and continuously making these zikrs. On this month it's the hijab of prophecy, risalat. It's zikr subhanahu man taqara bil qudrati wal baqa. That power that present everywhere, that never sleep, never slumber, never perishes, that light, that energy is what Allah wants to dress upon the soul. Why? Because this is the arafin in the way of Prophet what Allah dressing on this holy month, Subhanahu man taqara bil qudrati wal baqa, is dressing the soul of Prophet And we're asking Ya Rabbi that we're asking to be from these ashiqeen and arifeen whom are like them, that our, our ship on their ship, their ship moving and traversing into that re reality. So how we're going to reach it? Allah says, make them to fast. This is not a reality that they can get by their salah. This is not a reality they can buy with their zakah. 
This is only reality that through their siyam I will dress them. That no Prophet knows, no angel knows what lights I'm going to bestow upon them. They are merely passengers in this fuluq and these are fuluq al mashhoon that they are loaded ships. And each soul if we understood malakut in the world of light that their souls are huge ships of light and anyone who comes into contact with them wanting or not wanting it doesn't matter their soul will grab the atoms of other people their other lights will grab them and make them to be a passenger upon their soul. With your generous support, we have helped many of the needy around the world. You can make a difference right now by helping us support those who need it the most. Give now at nurmuhammad.com forward slash donate. Levels of the Heart, Lataif al Kalb by Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi. There are subtle energies and realities that are dressing the heart. This unique masterpiece invites readers from all faiths to step forward and begin the process of unveiling the true spiritual realities within their own hearts. As their ships are traversing into the oceans of Prophet every zikr, every ibadah, every worshipness that they're doing will dress all of those passengers with their zuriya. Just one of their atoms will be on that ship upon that soul of that servant traversing into those oceans of light. And that's why when they're coming into that ocean that hijab begins to open, the hijab al-Rahmah, hijab al-Maghfirah wa itkum min al-Nar. Then they're asking, Ya Rabbi from your sifat al-Muntaqeem that avenge us Ya Rabbi, avenge what shaitan has put upon us and destroyed all these maqams and all these lights and all these realities you had intended for us. And only that sifat can come like a hammer and destroy everything that shaitan is doing. He put a horrible figure upon this beatific soul and put every nastiness and dirtiness upon it. And thinking he got away with it and Allah said, just said, no, no, you wait my Ramadan, you see I'm going to smash it and obliterate it as if nothing is there. When Sifat al-Muntaqeem comes it becomes and smashes and obliterates all that Allah is not happy with. That's why in the month of Ramadan you see so much difficulty on earth. Hey, because Allah loves all His creation. If you're fasting you should be very blessed because the state of fast protects you and obliterates all of incorrectness. If not in a state of fasting you should find this month to be tremendously difficult, much oppression, much difficulty. Allah begin the shattering process for all the earth 
with all its flooding, with all its zilzila, with all its destruction. Why? Because Sifat al muntaqim is moving upon earth. That if you're in a state of fast, you should receive it with bliss. Why? Because the door of that fasting is coming, Dhul Fadl. When Sayyidina Zul Fadl is coming and teaching that with every emanation, قُلْ يَا نَهْرُ كُنِ بَارْدًا وَسَلَامًا عَلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمُ وَأَهْلِ مُحَمَّدْ وسلم. Means that reality of what opened for Sayyidina Ibrahim of Holy Qur'an is inheritance of Prophet That with whatever Allah destroys of incorrectness, Prophet dresses back with beatific oceans and beatific rahmah. The Ya Rabbi took away all its ugliness, let me to dress it from my lights. Let me to intercede upon that soul with my lights. What you dressed upon me, I dress upon them, make them to be beatific pearls in your Divinely Ocean and present them to you on the Eid al-Fitr. Prophet presenting these souls pure and purified into the Divinely Presence. We pray that Allah open for us these realities and these understandings. These are not small months, these are tremendous realities that take away oppression from us, take away difficulties from us and that Allah dress us for Divinely Grace and that Allah bless us with the proximity of Sayyidina Muhammad Ahlul Bayt and Nabi Ashab and Nabi and Awliyaullah from Samahi wa fil ard bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi sir surat al-Fatiha Allah Allah nabi ka karana Allah Allah nabi ka karana
Yeah, yeah.